Last year, one man drove in all eight of the Breeders' Crown races. He accounted for over $7 million in earnings last year from the Breeders' Crown Series along. His horses brought in over $580,000. He is John Campbell. Nice little chunk of change for you out of the Breeders' Crown, too, John. I imagine the other drivers ask you to buy the dinners a lot. Well, that happens quite a bit. The uh, Breeders' Crown definitely helped our earning power towards the end of the year last year. Aside from the financial rewards of the Breeders' Crown, what does it mean for you, for other drivers? And you come from a horse background. Your father was a noted horseman in Ontario, Jim. What does it mean for you to be involved in this series? Well, it's, you know, it's a big thrill. It's, uh, it's just really in its infancy stages, and I think it's going to take off. And, you know, it's something that uh, a lot of the drivers like myself are going to grow with. And, uh, you know, just great to be part of it. One of the things that the Breeders' Crown set out to do last year, and it did in many cases, it helped determine the champion at the end of the season. Yes, it certainly did, and I'm sure that's going to happen again this year. It's, uh, if there's any doubt going into the final part of the year, the Breeders' Crown will certainly settle it. When you first heard about the Breeders' Crown, when the concept first came around a couple of years ago, before becoming reality in 1984, what was your thoughts on the time? Well, I thought it was a great, great idea. I I'm, I'm still don't know whether the best idea is to go with the format where they go all in one day or the spread out. I think there's, you know, advantages to both. And uh, I think they're playing by ear and they seem to have an open mind and they're, you know, going to just wait and see what happens and how it goes this year again. In all 10 of them this year? I don't think so. I think there's a couple that I won't be able to make, but uh, I'll be in every one I can. Good luck tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, John Campbell. Well, he certainly got a chance tonight. He's uh